Hello again, everybody. My name is Joe Lynch, and I'd like to share with you one of my favorite stories. Once upon a time, there lived a hat maker, and he used to make the most beautiful hats. They were all the primary colors, greens, yellows, blues, and reds. And when he'd have made a big pile of these lovely hats, he'd load them all into his old wooden wheelbarrow, and he'd push off out into the countryside, selling his hats as he went along. And one day he was pushing his barrow along. It was a fierce hot day, and he grew very tired, and he thought he'd have a rest, and he spotted a great big tree. And he made over for the tree, and he put the barrow down, and he sat himself at the base of the tree in the shade, and he leaned back, and he pulled his hat like this down over his eyes, and he fell sound asleep. Now, what the hat maker didn't know was that high up in the canopy of this tree lived a large family of tiny little monkeys. And when the hat maker was sound asleep, the monkeys, they were looking down all the while, and attracted, I suppose, by the colour of the hats, they decided they'd go down and have a closer inspection. Down they went. They gathered all around the barrow and then they just couldn't help themselves. The temptation was too great. They reached in and they took a hat each and they stuck them on their heads and then they scarpered back up into the canopy of the tree as quick as lightning. And uh, when the hat maker woke up, of course, the first thing he did was to check for his precious cargo of hats. Well, there wasn't one to be seen. He looked all around the ground, everywhere. He looked around the back of the tree. No hat. And then he looked up into the canopy of the tree. And there he could see all of his beautiful, colourful hats all throughout the tree on the heads of little monkeys. And he spoke calmly. He said, please, little monkeys, may I have my hats back now? And the monkeys that were looking down at him, they looked at one another and then they looked back at him and they said, beep, 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 beep. And at this, the hat maker got quite angry and he wagged his finger at them and he said, you're very naughty monkeys, now give me my hats back this minute. And at that, the monkeys, they looked down at him and they wagged their fingers and they said, beep, 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 beep. And at this, the hat maker grew Furious, he leapt around the place with rage, shouting and yelling at them. And on seeing this, the monkeys leapt up and down like this on the branches of the tree. And then the hat maker realized that he was getting nowhere at all. And he was so disappointed and sad. And he took off his hat like that and he just threw it on the ground. And on seeing this, the monkeys each took off the hats and threw them down and they landed on the ground all around the hat maker. And that's how he got his hats back. And the moral of the story is this. You're far more likely to achieve your desired outcome in life as a result of what you do as opposed to what you say. You can talk Till you're blue in the face but until you get your behavior right nobody will be likely to follow you so if i want to change the world or something in it that i think needs changing the first thing i have to do is get this lad in here right get my behavior right and then hopefully i'll find just like the hat maker found hopefully others may want to follow Thank you so much for listening to my story tonight. Blessings all.